Hello everyone, and today I want to talk about Good Notes 5. Keep watching, because at the end of the video I will show you what type of freebies I prepared. And let's start it. What you have here? It's our main surface where we can add notebook, folder, image, and scan document, import some books or notes, take some photo or create quick note. If you click on quick note, it's as you see. You can draw immediately and use it for whatever you want. And it's only a few seconds and you have your document. As you see, you can save it untitled and then title it like whatever you want. And your quick note is ready to go. What I like here is folders with some books, folders with some other folders and a lot of other stuff. You can import some PDFs and use it just Japanese, for example. I created this box because I understand that it's more visible for me and if I am watching this document I see okay th this is my words and if I'm going like this it's even in this book where it's obvious it's not so easy to find sections that you need. If you have other books it doesn't matter this or that, just like, just this. And as you see, find exactly what you want. It's not so <laughs> easy. And it's so important that you can highlight it and it looks amazing and you can add some notes uh, near it. And I'm scrolling and enjoying this book. Oh, my draft. I need to delete it. Um, move to trash. Trash. And you can organize any documents, any thoughts, all your paper stuff by using this app. And it's so simple, cool looking app that I prefer it more than other apps because for me it's very obvious what to do how to use and it's more pleasing eye looking app than other apps but who knows maybe other people they would be happy with notability one note even apple notes but you can, as you see, sort it by date, by name. As always, we can click here. It's my TV show tracker. And what I want to show you, it's very useful feature like this box. I don't need to zoom in, zoom out to take some notes. I only move this box and I am ready to go immediately. And you see this blue box, if I start something like this here, you see our box, it was moved right. And if you are like a student and you need to take notes very quickly or you are thinking and understanding that swipe left, right, it's so long for your thoughts. Just great, great tool. Other things that I like, it's pen and 
highlighter. I understand that some people they are like, oh, in notability we have like a better handwriting. I tried it and for me it didn't work and maybe I don't like it because it didn't work for me like an app, but I am impressed with one feature like creating some audio while you are writing something that isn't available here, but it's also very, very useful app. You can choose here font pen, ball pen, brush pen. I like uh, ball pen. <laughs> this side it's our palette. You can pick three colors or you can like choose presets or you can choose like more colors or you can choose like your color and uh, just like this. I like this selection of colors because I don't need to move this circle and choose this one, that one. If I forgot which one, it's not appropriate. I can't pick up color and color wheel. It's so cool, but it's a little bit not so convenient when you don't have tools like in Procreate. Okay, thickness. I'm a fan of this thickness because you can choose whatever you want from 2 millimeters to 0 0.1 millimeter. And I'm using like... It should be like this. And what else? It's our eraser. Eraser have some settings like erase entire stroke, erase highlighter. Useful, very useful feature because when you are taking notes, you shouldn't delete your notes when you are trying to erase something. And auto deselect, useful when you are in a hurry and you are trying like as you see, episode 10, for example, and 12. And you want to clear this, you are cleaning, and when you are picking up your stylus, it's already ready for new notes. But if you like to clear not one word or one mistake, you can adjust your eraser here. All of these settings, they are definitely good for people who need to write very fast and don't want to spend more time doing useless moves. Okay, another tool is highlighter and you can here pick some colors like in previous uh, pencil selection but here we have some dots you can also adjust it something good about highlighter it's when you are highlighting something it's moving down and all of your pen notes they're still visible it's something so tiny but so important and it, it's work not only with PDFs, documents, and does it. Next tool it's our shape creator. You can draw something and their shape is perfect for some needs. Because if you want more detailed shape or some advanced shape creating tool, it's definitely Procreate. But for some notes for some highlighting or very quick notes. It's cool to have because as you see here, these boxes, it was created by me using this tool and it's good looking squares. Lots of tool 
for moving some objects. Then you don't need to split screen if you want to add something. You can pick this button and choose here or click and choose from this menu. Another one, you understand, it's take picture and it would be inserted here. And about text tool here, you can choose like um, size, font, you can add some other fonts. You can choose like right, left or center. In this program also you can convert your handwriting into your digital notes but in some cases you have results with a few mistakes that you can easily correct just let's try it we can take screenshot resize uh, choose another color convert cut copy and delete i'm thinking about converting it convert and here you have text and you can add something you can share it and you can select it copy paste another one it's like a laser for some sort of presentations where you need to say hello and to say that this part is name this part is also very important and uh, that very important is very important you should know this you understand it's for presentation for showing other people what you want to say very cool feature it's add like a current template before after or like last page you can choose another pages and you can use current template and it's very cool if you have like a planner and if you want duplicate some specific pages you easily can do it you can also add some pages with images with documents that was scanned also you can mark some pages and unmark it here and share it and if you mark it you can click it here it's all of my pages then i have my favorites that i marked and there we can add some sort of markers that would be arranged by pages for better use you can change scrolling directions you can change template and all of this stuff we also can like find some information if you need it it's like our board hello you should click here search and hello and it's immediately is showing you which page image of this page how much pages with this word we have and you are clicking and okay it's here and it's highlighted for our use i want to show you how to create notebook you are clicking here and you can select cover with all of these create your own cover page or choose one of these pages for your cover or choose no cover i prefer no cover because i can see my first page and i understand more what's inside about paper i am very happy that there are a lot of paper variations it's not only white black and milk paper it's cornell paper it's paper with dots paper with lines paper with columns it's planner pages like this where you can add your day for example your expenses even you can use it for your habits 
And there we have like our monthly planner where you can put like uh, year, months. It's our weekly planner and for everyday use you can choose pages from this line. Also, you can choose like language of this notebook, landscape or portrait mode and very important part, you can choose like a very good size like A3 but I prefer A4 because it's more like a size of this iPad. You can also mark some folders and some documents like favorites and access it with this tab. Or you can find other like planners, notebooks that you created. In settings we have automatic backup. You can click here and it's available in the options. It's Dropbox, Google Drive and OneDrive and then you can choose format and it can be PDF, GoodNotes or GoodNotes and PDF and it can be backed on your cloud. Also, if you are backing your files in PDF, you can access it not only on iOS devices, but in other apps and on Windows laptops. I hope now you understand how good notes look like and what we can do. Time for freebies. Today it's 10 frames for your digital planning, totally free without any emails, just scan QR code or use link down below and enjoy it. And okay, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe, leave comments below. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.